am Catherine from Lulu Magazine, and I'm here at Oceaga with the lovely folks of Dragon Inn. How are you guys doing? Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. You guys just finished your set. How was it out there? It was so fun. The crowd was awesome and pumping. And, and here so early. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> That's a good thing about finishing early. Now you guys get to party? Well, we have to go to soundcheck because we're playing another show later. <laughs> so nice here. I would love just to be able to party. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to tell you explicitly what I would do right now if I wasn't playing a show. But Speaking of the new album, Royal Blues, can you tell me a little bit uh, about what we can expect from that? The cover is going to be blue. No. There will be elements of blue on it. Oh, yeah, there are. Yeah, because it's called Royal Blues. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about it. I love it. And then more and more, you don't really know what you're doing when you're working in, on an album because it's like, albums, anybody? Um... <laughs> So, but I, I mean, I really feel like the songs, um, they go together well and there's a mood. There's definitely a mood. Um, and it's a little, maybe a little less hypey than other Dragonette records, which I like. I think there's a bit more of like, I don't know, it's, it's heavier in a good way. You mentioned the cover art. I love the cover art for Lonely Art, on oh, Lonely Heart. Um, I feel like your makeup's sort of echoing. Yeah, yeah. My friend came and she. When Martina cries, these little squares yeah. come out. I cried you jewels. Cry. Yeah, yeah. Artwork for the album is um, similar to the single, and this, it's a, it's an interesting concept. How important is it to like give that visual um, identity to music? You've got to show people what they're gonna hear, yeah. or hopefully that you'll make the connection. But by the time you get to that part of having made the record, it's like you feel like you're at the finish line and then you're like, oh, now we have to like think about what this looks like and what it's yeah. and in fact it's in in a way the most important Because it's piece the first of all. point of contact. The first thing, yeah. Does that extend to fashion as well, that visual sort of identity? This is my very subtle seg segue into fashion. Yeah. <laughs> what is fashion? Yeah, I think it does. And I think it depends on I think it depends who you are and how, how you want to be perceived. I definitely want to present myself consciously, but I don't want the fashion to be louder than the music because I feel like probably just because I don't know how to do that effectively, I don't know. There's a pendulum swing from like Lady Gaga yeah. and now I feel like it's kind of swung back the other way and people are doing more of a don't give a shit sort of thing, yeah. which I think it's fun and refreshing, and I can't wait for it to go back the other way and see what happens when, you know, the next Gaga-esque <laughs> era comes back. Everything about performance is about an exaggeration of something, right? The authenticity of bands is about being yourself as much as you can, but maybe just gussing it up with a little bit of, uh, you yeah. know, uh, square awesome. teardrops. <laughs> but to go beyond a representation of who you are, yeah. uh, I don't think it communicates and anything in in the right way. I think in the time. beginning we went way beyond what our comfort and we zone discovered. was and what and yeah. like what is normal for us and we yeah, we figured out like this made us feel really uncomfortable on stage. So let's not do that again. Let's, I remember the first time I didn't wear heels on stage. At the very beginning I was like heels and yeah. And then and and it, the show was so different because I was so comfortable and I was jumping around and that's like, "Oh yeah." I gotta fucking be able to jump around. Our job is to stand on stage and give the audience who we are and like and make sure that we are that's what we're putting forward. Do you guys plan like beforehand what you're gonna be wearing? Do you guys discuss it or is it kind of just you wing it and pulse it? Well last Sometimes. night I laid three white t-shirts out on my bed and I stood and I looked at them and I said, like, which one is gonna <laughs> say this is your best more for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He killed it with this white t-shirt. Yes! You know, oh my Cheers. god. Woo! Be very this is your lunch. Cheers. All right. I don't get beer. Speaking of lipstick, let's talk beauty for a second. Okay, um, what's your beauty routine when you're when you're on the road like this? I have a routine, and I wash my face every night and every morning like a lady. A new adult now. I know, right? Hashtag adulting. <laughs> let's talk about your snazzy shorts for a second. They're actually sort of more of a bikini bottom. If you want to notice, my butt is really hanging out the back. But I think like my butt is, is only like a year left of being perky enough to do that, so I think <laughs> milk I'm it, girl, to milk it. Well, again. So yeah, these are top shop. Oh, very cool. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank We've you. lost the boys, but it's okay. Now I think we're we're done actually. I was talking about grooming, beardscaping. Oh, let's talk about that. I feel like I should. I, it was really bushy uh, before, and I was like, oh, I guess I should probably tidy myself up. I'm playing. Uh, Oshi, Co was it Koshi Koshiaga? I feel like my hair is a little insane right now. Let's ask the viewers at home. And I was, was going to also in, cut my hair. But I only On that note, thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the festival. Enjoy your beer. Have a great day. Thanks.